Welcome to Adventures of Senia with me, Senia. Hi, Emma. Trusty co-hostinda, who will be squawking her little life away from time to time. Today we are talking about Odenza. Yay! Long time coming this video. From my mystery box, I picked out this Odin's blush, this Odin's highlighter, and this Odin's palette to play with. So play with means swatches and literally play with. So the name of this is called Sweet Peach, but it's giving me a deep rose color. I don't know where they get the peach from, but it's okay. I'm just gonna put it on a little bit here. Not bad. I dipped into this blush three times already. And now I'm getting a beautiful rosy pigment. The Salomain Highlighter Palette. This one's one of their calmer highlighter palettes. I also have the Alva 2 Highlighter Palette. I love, I also received this in the mystery box because I bought the three boxes. This one is the cool, crazy holographic. And that little bit of silver on the butterfly is an overspray. Some people have used it and said the silver went away. So the silver went away, it's an overspray. It's sad, but it's so cute that I might just go around this. So the champagne one. It's going over to the floor. And oh wow, that, that's pretty. That is pretty. Nice. It is subtle. But it has a nice pop. Ooh, it looks even kind of like wet. Let me find, it looks wet. It makes my skin look wet. <gasps> I like that. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Odin's eye. Mm -hmm. Now we're on to the Alva 2 eyeshadow palette. Okay, so look at the pretty colors. Row by row. And then to get some pigment, you can turn it. All right, so we're gonna go with the top row. Okay, so we have apricot, crystal, aquamarine, and blue bubble. That's what they look like. So apricot, crystal, aquamarine, blue bubble. Mm, that's what they look like. Wow, crystal is a matte, and for a matte, that was pretty cool. Okay, we have pop rocks, we have orange, bourbon we have green elves oh how cute and then blue pea fowl and that's what they look like there's a fly that's what they look like ready and this one is glittery so not that great of a swatch this time Alright, the glitter one I should have just pressed. Okay. So here we go. That Pop Rocks is beautiful. It is like an orange and yellow glitter. And it has like a it has like a coral. So if you see a shift, it's coral. Like see right there, that's coral. And then it gives you the orange yellow glitters. Peach juice. Pink star. It's another soft foil glitter. Green tea. And sapphire. Ooh. There we go. Pink star. Hmm. Give me little chalky vibes. Okay, so we're just going to go up here. Bam. Bam. Oh, oh, I forgot. That one's the creamy one, so I don't have to bang that. <laughs> Wait, pink star. Okay, peach juice was giving me a little bit of a uh, peach juice, not too much. But OMG, pink star. Who are you? Look, purple to pink, purple to pink, purple. <gasps> but look at that foil. Okay, and then there's this one, which is green tea, beautiful. And then sapphire. Okay, sapphire. Sapphire is a satin, so it looks a little shinier. But this is pretty. So we have coffee and it is a warm tone brown. We have copper red, is a metallic 
deep red. We have Forest Dream, which is a beautiful teal. And then we have, and this one's really soft, Deep Sea. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. So we got to keep it with the forehead and do that quick, strong swatch. Wow. Wow. This is gorgeous. Wow. Look at that. Look at it. Oh. Oh, baby. Wow. Nice. Alva 2 palette. Mm, gorgeous. What do you think? Um, I love the colors because I feel it has a little bit of everything. Um, we're going to give it a try and see how that works. Now, we have the Alva 2 highlighter palette. This one is the one that goes into the holographics. So it has that white hollow, that blue hollow, the pink hollow, and then this one is like a light lilac, but it's not glittery. But we're going to swatch the glittery one, which is called Salamander. Nice. Yeah, but it is that, wow, an ice baby blue. Wow. Am I supposed to use this as highlighter? <gasps> Whoa. All right, then we have Gnome, which is a beautiful peach gold. That's what it looks like. It's a little heavy. Ooh, yep. It is a peach gold, and then it has a shift to a pink. It's, I don't know. This should be on a halo eye or the corner of your eye more than it should be on a highlighter. But... Of course, I'm swatching it heavy, so I get it. Maybe it will just swatch beautifully with a brush. We should find out. Silks. S-L-P-H-S. Silks. As well. Okay. I'm not going to swatch that butterfly since someone already swatched it in the video. And they said that it's an overspray. I want to keep my butterfly silver for now. So, Silks is a very holographic era that's... It is, has a shift. So silks goes from white to pink, but I don't think you'll see the pink. But trust me, it's a white to pink. Ready? Okay, it's a little choky. There we go. So now it looks just pink on me. Do you see the pink shift? Yeah. So it's like one of those iridescent pinks. And it was a little chalky, but I just blended it in. Looks a little patchy, but at least it is see blendable. So okay, silks. That word is nestling with my lisp. I like this one because it was more toned down. But I love the way it looks wet. I'm like amazed by that. Let's see how it swatches. So we will still be using the first one that I tried on. And there are no names on the board there in the back. So L J U S. So Lius. Lius, oh, the names are embedded. That is so cool. I'm done. I didn't even realize. So, Lius, Juice, Lius, Lius, Lius. I'm going to go with Lius. All right, that's the one I have on. That's the one I have on. So, it is a beautiful champagne. This is gorgeous. <laughs> then we have Stayaro. Wow, these words. Okay, this is a Poland. This is a Polish brand. So it comes from Poland. So it's S T J A R N A. So Stiarna. Stiarna. I'm going to say it's Stiarna. Anybody could say otherwise. If you know it, cool. So this is a white into gold into a violet. Um, let me see that. But I'm seeing the bluish violet. Okay. So this one is one of those hollows. See, it has like a bluish tone, and it goes to pink. I'm seeing blue to pink. Okay, with the white undertone, as you can see, the cast. Whoa. Then we have Sol. Sol is like a... Hmm, how would I say Sol? It's like a deep peach. And that is Sol. 
a deep peach. Okay. This one will blend more well into your skin. And it's more subtle. But I see a bit of a gray cast when I turned. Okay, so it's not that. And then we have M-A-N-E. Man, main. Okay, main. So I feel this is the subtle highlighter palette. This is the one I used I love. This is the subtle highlighter palette. Main has a green tone to it. I don't know if you'll see it, but Main has a green tone to it. This is the Wowzer highlighter, Demon to the God War. So this is what I have from Odin's Eye. The word is debutante. Okay, so let me explain. Deb and I bought these mystery boxes at the same time, and we did um, videos, and she did a live with it. Down below in the description, I will have a link to a video of Deb's. And in that link, I would like you to write unicorn on that video. So watch the video in full. Write unicorn in any type of sentence you want. And then make sure you're subscribed to her. Why? Because there is a giveaway. Zev and I put together things from our mystery boxes together in one box to do a special giveaway for someone who is subscribed to myself and her. All right, so that's the only way we thought it would be great to do because she mostly likes to go live and I like a little bit of both. And this has been taking some time to have, make it happen. So Deb went live recently to let everyone know that this video was coming up. So now those who watch my videos know, hi, it's up. Now, those were the rules. So you have to be subscribed to me and Debuton. You have to fully watch the video linked below. So it's just gonna be not her long live, but it will be one of her videos. And you must use the word, my secret word, in my video that I said and the secret word that I told you to use in her video all right and yes United States only unfortunately all right what are you getting you are getting a Odin's eye holographic sticker on it and it is um, a mirror compact mirror so the top part is magnified the bottom part is just a regular mirror you are getting and i do apologize for the packaging i went to take it out just to look at it and i ended up breaking the package i think it's in you can see how that happened in my odin's eye so this is a lippy it is a beautiful rust reddish orange lippy and then you will be receiving one of their cream lip stains and it is in that beautiful color and it's called little jasmine then we have another lippy, a cream lipstick in brown rose. And these are very hard to open, and that's why that happens. Here's brown rose. It looks like a deeper brown into a red with a hint of orange, but the other one was more reddish. This one does look more brownish tone. The other one was like rust. All right. And then we each gave up a palette. So I gave up the Odin's Eye Freya. So it's beautiful. You see the reds and the orange. It's beautiful. So I see that I think I banged it with the paper. You know, with this plastic. I banged it with the plastic. So there's a little dip there. I apologize. I'm sorry. But it has not been touched. I did not touch it with my fingers. Solomon Highlighter Palette. And Deb gave this one up. And this is the more subtle, wet look, beautiful palette. I don't have to lift it. You see mine. So this is really nice. You get a subtle one. But there is holographic greens, holographic bluish pinks. 
and then you have the one that I wore, which makes your cheek look like it's wet. So this is the giveaway. Two palettes, a highlighter palette and an eye palette. The mirror, two lip creams, one lip stain, and there's one more thing in there. Oh, I didn't see, it was hiding. A dual ended brush, so you get a fluffy angled brush and you get a more fluffy pencil brush for doing details or if you have hooded eyes for just getting on the crease better. This is awesome. We're gonna play with this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to prep my eyes and then come back to you. The P. Louise in number two as a base. I did not set it with a fluffier brush, but it's tapered still. And I really love this green right here, so I'm going to go with that green, and it's called Aquamarine. And I'm going to tap it first where I want it. And then blend. It's blending pretty nice. Try not to go too high. So I'm going a little above the crease and into the crease. All right, so I feel like the tackiness of the P. Louise is allowing the color to show pigment-wise. So now you know that there's a mint, a green mint on me. I'm going to use this beautiful shimmery sapphire blue right below with the same brush. So we're going to dab it in first. And then blend it together. See, like it's weird right here. I don't know what's going on. So what we're going to do is going to go deeper. We're going to go to ocean. I'm going to use the same brush. We're going to go to deep sea with the same brush. And I'm going to see if this will give me more pigment. It's very soft, this shadow. So a shader brush would be best to use. But, since, but these are synthetic brushes. And I want it like a light wash. Because that Tinkerbell look. <laughs> so there's a, a lot of fallout from the first one, the mint one. Okay. It's not bad. I'm going to clean this up and then we'll put on the glitter. I cleaned it up on the edges. Now we're going to go with a glitter. I'm going to go with Forest Dream and just put it on the edge. That's pretty. Oh, wow. And this one was very creamy. So, whoa, that is gorgeous. That is beautiful, guys. Then I'm going to go, since I did that aquamarine, I'm going to go into green elves. <laughs> that name is so cute. And I'm going to put it in the middle. Wow. That is beautiful. I think the shimmers are prettier. And then I just go back and forth on the edge of both of them to create a blend. Wow. That is beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. I want to use a shimmer. I know it's a lot, but I have this one or this one. I want to go into the pink one, but I know that would be crazy. So I'm just going to go for now into Pop Rocks, which is that orangey one. And just spread it. This is more of a topper. So this would look great on top of any of these colors. 
but I'm just gonna go a little cray cray when don't I and I want I want glitter everywhere I'm gonna go back with the green so to give it a better blend and it looks like it's running into the green it's like mm, run into the green grab another fluffy brush this time I'm gonna go into apricot the first one that is pigmented um that surprised me i didn't even tap it in and now i will over here but that totally surprised me we're going to use the apricot below with synthetic brushes i'm noticing a lot of kick up and fallout i'm going to use it below here too cart down here so it can blend better with the pop box it looks more cohesive and I'm bringing it up so it looks like a orangey ring I'm still like amazed Let me blend this again what's next that orange Okay, so orange bourbon underneath. I know this one's looking more monochromatic. Yeah, I think I'm going mo more monochromatic on this eye, huh? Let me just place it where I want it. Wow. I mean, this is a big fluffy brush. I'm going to go into the brown, just on the top, and I'm going to bring it inward. So it's already creating a smoke for the corner. And it laid it where I wanted it, so that's kind of cool. Nice. All right, no extravagant again. Guys, tell me, Senia, can you give us something more simpler? I will. <laughs> I promise. I will. And once I clean it up, it'll look better. I'm going to clean it upwards so it'll take away some of that wing. And wait till I... Yes, I'm just, I can't. I'm doing crazy again. And it's not. All right, guys. Pink star. So it's all over my face because I did not use a base. But it is gorgeous um use glitter glue yes i suggest you use glitter glue i thought i was filming and then i noticed it was on pause so i don't know how far i got but i did use coffee for the edge then i put some peach juice underneath and look at that it's so pigment that peach juice and i put it under this i should have used glitter glue the orange just Okay, just cleaning up the glitter edge with this orange, which is called Orange Bourbon, yes. I forget the name. So, Orange Bourbon to clean up the edges of the glitter. And then, apricot. Get it all right. Get it right, and get it right, get it right, and get it right, and get it right. Look at that. Oh, it's crazy. Wow. The two glitters on here use glitter glue. I didn't. But they still are amazing. Wow. All right. I'm going to do a mascara, little liner, underliner. I'm not going to do eyeliner. Just mascara and a little liner. And then I'll be back. I'm back. Okay. I just put on some. I use the Lash Princess from Essence. My favorite eyeliner is Shockwave. So I use this Shockwave Neon for this side because it's like a mint green. And then I use this one from the Raw Beauty Christy. And this is ColourPop and it's called Crisp. So it's like a, a nice light yellow for this eye. So it could be like more open. And then you could see all the yellows and oranges and wow. 
I think I picked the right eyeliner for the look. This could have been orange. I mean, I could have used orange, but I, I went with yellow this time just to open up my eye a bit. So this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful, beautiful mess. Personal announcement. I would love to give props to Mama Goonie. I got my face watching idea from Mama Goonie. And she had last year um, passed over the baton to me. So I've been doing face watches, but I first saw it from Mama Goonie three years ago. She was doing this on her lives three years ago. So we make a joke about Wayne Goss recently was doing it. Also, like a year and a half ago, he started doing it. And we were like, Wayne Goss, you know, we would go like, Wayne Goss. We make fun of him when we saw that he's doing it too. So I don't know who it came from. I don't know who started this, but my props go from who I seen it from and who gave me the um, okay to continue to do it because out of respect, she passed the baton and I happily am taking it. And I got a lot of good reactions from the face watches, the last video with my declutter. So you know what? I'm not going to stop face watching. If you guys like it, just let me know down below. If you could see it better instead of going like this and like this and seeing all this, it's right here, right here in your face. Face watches. I'm gonna try this again with powdered eyes, the way I usually have it, and see if it gives me a better. Did you see that, like that shadow there? That's because it didn't want to really stick. So I want to see if it gives me a better application, better results from that application. That's what I want to see. Right, Linda? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank you very much for being here. Um, good luck to everyone, and I love you all.